the former UBS trader Kweke Odoboli will appear in the London court today. And he may enter a plea. The 31-year-old is accused of making unauthorized trades costing UBS $2.3 billion. Poppy Trowbridge is following the case. And uh, Poppy, I guess this is a really turning point for UBS. If he enters a plea today, Francine, yes, it could be a turning point for UBS. But we don't know whether he will. It could be today and it could be at the next administrative hearing. Francine, there's a lot to sort out about when you're, when you're setting up a trial like this. What will probably happen today when he makes his appearance is that this case will be transferred to a criminal court more used to handling these types of cases. It will still be here in the central part of London, but not the court nearest to the financial district where he was arrested. Now keep in mind, he's been held in custody since September 15th and he declined to ask for bail. So he will remain in custody until the trial begins. Uh, Poppy, UBS has of course made a lot of changes in the wake of his arrest. Are there more to come? Yes, we have seen many people lose their jobs, um, middle office staff and also three fairly senior people including former CEO Oswald Grubel. There's a lot of pressure on UBS and you look at the shares there down about 30 percent this year. Those shares are mostly held by Swiss retail investors. Francine, that means the public. And of course, there's a lot of pressure on UBS to prove that it's reducing its risk. And that means scaling back the investment banking operations. But of course, in bad times, like we're seeing in the third quarter, the investment bank can uh, be uh, less profit making than in good times. But it's very difficult to build it up quickly, like in 2009, when you see a boom in investment banking. Bit of a dilemma there, Francine. Yeah, bit of a dilemma. Poppy, thank you. Poppy Trowbridge.